Hey everybody, Dr. O here. So you are here because you want to sleep better so you can lose weight, burn fat, and boost your metabolism. I have a lot to teach you before you will understand everything, but I want to give you some quick wins. So I want to share 10 easy tips that anyone can start doing right away if they want to lose fat, like that five pound blob of fat you see in that picture there. Just me having a little bit of fun with it. So I'm not going to go into the science until later in the course, so I need you to trust me for now. I want to get you sleeping a little bit better now while I teach you how to sleep a whole lot better in the rest of the course. These are 10 of the 85 tips that I will be sharing with you in this course. On top of that, I'm gonna talk about 23 different sleep supplements and sleep supplement comp combinations. Add that up and we have 108 different things to try. This course will teach you how to sleep better. You see this quote here, one of my favorites. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. Right? This is the first step towards you getting better sleep and losing weight and burning fat. So I chose these 10, not because they're the best ones, but because they're the easiest to implement in a single day with no cost to you. Try as many of these as you can today or tomorrow. Once you find the right combination of things, you're on your way to being a better sleeper and a fat burning machine. So let's go ahead and dive in. Number one, take a walk. Take a 20 to 30 minute walk in the morning or midday sun or both. You want to do a combination of things that leads to light exposure and physical activity. We want to remind your brain that it's daytime and these are two really important cues. This can be just as important as reminding your brain that it's nighttime later on. Another little pro tip, don't wear sunglasses unless you, unless you absolutely have to. When I took my sunglasses off on my morning walks, I immediately noticed that I was sleeping better. So you want light exposure during the day, just as important as getting rid of it at night. All right, number one, take a walk. Number two, no caffeine after lunch. Cut out the caffeine. Right, Half the caffeine you drink is still in your system five to six hours later, and a quarter of the caffeine you drink is still in your system 10 to 12 hours later. So my best advice is don't drink a cup of coffee at 2 p.m. unless you would drink half a cup at 8 or a quarter of a cup before bed. So I certainly hope you wouldn't drink a quarter of a cup of coffee and then lay down to go to sleep. So don't be drinking it at two in the afternoon either. So no caffeine after lunch. We wanna flush it all out of your system and see how much that has been impacting your sleep. This is another huge one for me. I used to say caffeine doesn't bother me, I drink it right before bed and I fall asleep. But now I know that I'm sleeping much better than I was, even though I thought I was sleeping fine with this caffeine in my system. So don't fool yourself. Number three, no snacking after supper. Say no to dessert. It's hard to sleep with a belly full, full of food, and it's also hard to sleep if you're riding a blood sugar roller coaster. Right, this will be good for your digestive system and your diet anyhow. So say no to dessert. Number four, no booze so you can snooze. And yes, I think I'm funny. So no alcohol. Alcohol may help you wind down, and it might even help knock you out when you lay down to go to bed but it is destroying your sleep quality. I'll explain why later in the course, but no alcohol today if you want to sleep well tonight. Number five, give yourself a bedtime, just like you would your children. Set your bedtime for 30 to 60 minutes earlier than usual. Getting better sleep will help, but getting more of it will help even more. So give yourself a bedtime. Number six, remind your brain that it is bedtime. So dim the lights in your house and put away your computer and your phone one hour before bed. Your brain looks for cues that it's time to go to sleep. Darkness is one of the biggest ones. I have other things to keep you busy in this last hour before bed anyhow. Number seven, take a bath. Take a warm bath or shower 60 minutes before bed. So warming your body up then leads to when you get out of the bath or get out of the shower, your body cools. This drop in core temperature is a huge signal that it's time to go to bed. It's just as important as it getting darker because the sun also warms the earth and then it gets cooler when the sun goes away. So turning down the lights and cooling your body off are two key signals that it is time for bed. If you can't take a bath or a shower because of physical limitations, then just soak your feet. Soaking your feet in warm water can help almost as much. So number seven, take a bath. Number eight, read a book. Read a book for a few minutes, about 40 minutes before bed, but no e-readers or books on your phone. Podcasts or audiobooks would also be fine as, as long as you're not staring at the screen. So I'll give you tips later to make it so you can still use your screens at night. But for now, 
let's just take a break from the screens for that last hour and let's read a physical book, a magazine, newspaper, something like that. Number nine, take time to unwind. So listen to an NSDR or a yoga nidre to relax 20 minutes before bed. NSDR is non-sleep deep rest. And then, and then similar to Yoga Nidre. So find one you enjoy on YouTube. I just did a search here for non-sleep, deep, deep rest, Yoga Nidre. And then these are the ones that popped up. So you can search for NSDR sleep or Yoga Nidre sleep as well. But have one picked out in, in advance. I don't want you staring at your screen and scrolling through YouTube right before bed. So have one picked out and then play it 20 minutes before bed. Number 10, chill out. Make your bedroom as dark and cool as possible. Right? So I'm, I'm joking, but this is a picture of my bedroom when it's time to sleep. It isn't really there, but it should be similar to that. You should have, it should be as dark and cool as possible when you, when you get into bed. Our body is designed to live in sync with the sun. The sun lights and warms our planet. So darkness and cold tells our brain the sun has gone away and it's time for bed. So aim for zero light in your bedroom, as close as possible to zero, and somewhere around 65 degrees Fahrenheit. All right, so if you do these, so just to review them, number one, take a 20 to 30 minute walk in the morning or midday sun. Number two, no caffeine after lunch. Number three, no snacking after supper. Number four, no alcohol. Number five, set your bedtime for 30 to 60 minutes earlier than usual. Number six, dim the lights in your house and put away your computer and phone one hour before bed. Number seven, take a warm bath or shower 60 minutes before bed. Number eight, read a book for a few minutes 40 minutes before bed. Number nine, listen to an NSDR or yoga nidre to relax 20 minutes before bed. And then number 10, make your bedroom as dark and cool as possible. So if you do these things, right, if, if this list helps you sleep at all, just wait until I show you what, what I have in store for you in this course. You will be sleeping like a baby in no time. Have a wonderful day. Be blessed.